Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. I know I feel the same way, Mommy. I love you, Mother. I've been wanting to see you for the past hours, and man, it seems like everybody. Hi, Mommy. I'm home. I, I told you I was coming this year. Hi, I don't look the best, but I'm home. I got a haircut. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too, That's my mom. I'm not, Mom. I'm not. I'm through with it all. God, this happened for me. You always told me to pray. To pray. And I've been praying, Mommy. Now what's going on? I love you, Mother. The prodigal son has come. Yes, ma'am. Oh, God, Mommy. Well, you're look as good as I can. Yeah. I know it's all gray, Mommy. I'm all gray. I'm 53. 53? Yeah, yeah. Mother, I love you so much, man. This has been this has been a dream. A dream and a prayer. So flying that sign has some kind of validity to it, that's all. I for you to get off of that plane. I know, I know. And then I've been calling you, and then I, and I was calling you, and your line's been busy. And then some lady on the light, she was like, I'm your mother's neighbor. And then this, that, and the other. And then I said, well, where's my mom? Your mother's downstairs. So then I said something to her, and she said, are you getting belligerent with me? And so I said, I said, look, woman, if you don't know, because I thought they kidnapped you. I thought oh, these no, people no. thought this whole experience was worth some money to them. And because people in Columbus were saying, what's, 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 what's your mother's name? Where she lives? We want to go pick her up. We want to do this, that, and the other. And I was scared because you, because anybody could have came in and said, hi, I'm from whatever, and, and ride with us and take you away. And then when that woman wouldn't let me speak, Yes, ma'am. I, I don't have no glasses, as you can well see, and these are the only clothes I own. But but the people at, uh, at the Jimmy Fallon show, they're gonna get me some. They're gonna get me some. Well, they're not gonna get me no glasses, but uh, you know, and they've been working with me, yeah. and 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 you know, I was just standing on the but on the highway. Julie, mommy. if someone could have come, I understand. Could have come here. Well, I didn't know. I, well, you know, you know what? As a matter of fact, I was gonna ask Alan, uh, the the gentleman, that gentleman right there, mommy. That's that's the man, boy. That yeah. that's the man. He has yeah. been so much. Part of me and then Alan, Alan, I mean, I mean, Alfred Battle. I only had one friend, you know, uh, um, um, and so um, Al has always believed in me, Mom. I used to do commercials for him, and then when I would call you sometimes and say, Mommy, I'm doing a commercial, and you'd always say, Oh, bullshit. <laughs> you know, and stuff. So you would always say, oh, 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 I've heard that before, and this, that, and the other, you know. And then when I'd start talking about the Bible, yeah. goodbye, talk to you later. How do you think that made me feel? Who, oh, when you were talking you about did, Bible? I was trying to tell you, find God in your life. Do the yeah, you always thing. talked about God. And then when I started talking about, goodbye, goodbye. Uh-uh. I said, well. Well, Mommy, the Lord answered my prayers because I was praying that my mother would stay around long enough for her to see right me. Here. And, and, you know, uh, when you're listening right. to nothing but the best of mommy, this is Julia Williams, my mother. And I, and I, I was across the street and I, I seen remember. Rockefeller Center. I seen Radio City Music where Hall, where you used to take me. All these places of where I visited right. as a child. Right. And so it's like, God did this, mommy. Really God did good. this. I like your hair cut and your mixed gray. How old are you? 53. I am not 92. I don't know. Where, so, yeah, I thought Julian. I thought Julian them said you was ninety two. Oh, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, don't I want to thank everybody who had a part of all of this. Thank you so much. This reunion means more to me than anything that I've been offered. Mommy, they offered me all kind of trips to Hawaii yeah, and all that. And you're welcome to be with me uh, on any of it. Believe me, they, uh, we're a package deal now, sugar. For real, we're a package deal. I just did a commercial for Kraft. I'm the official voice for Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. And look what they did. They gave me a contract, Mom. Look at this. This is, the, well, I don't know whether this is newsworthy or whatever. Anyway, but anyway, you're, you're with Kraft. I'm with Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. I just did the commercial for it, and, and it's going to debut, uh, it's going to debut this Sunday during um, uh, the hunger, the, the Huddle for Hunger Bowl with Nebraska and Boston College are playing on a football game, and it's going to air for the first time oh, this yeah. Sunday. And basically it was something where like Kraft did a thing and then all I said, the new Kraft macaroni and cheese dinner made with, you know, da da da. Kraft, and then the end of the tag was Kraft macaroni and cheese. You know you love it. And, and then I'll show you the dollar amounts in this thing. Yes, ma'am. But are you okay? I'm all right. Okay. Who's the neighbor?